How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a long while, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's been a long time since I've sat in front of a camera actually. I'm feeling a little bit weird about talking to myself again, but we'll get there. Um, so the reasons I haven't posted, uh, the title of this video might give some of it away. Now COVID's not so much of a thing. I'm back out gigging full time, which is amazing, but it does seriously cut down on what time I have to devote to videos. Reason number two is my long suffering iMac that I edit all my videos on. Unfortunately went to the great iMac graveyard in the sky. So I was without a machine for a while. I'm now set back up. I've got a new, new machine, which is very cool. And number three is I've been doing some video work behind the scenes for some, uh, for some people that is for their own media campaigns and some collaboration stuff, which is cool, which will start filtering out soon. But it has meant I haven't had much time to devote to this channel. But that is all about to change, hopefully. <laughs> um, I am putting together a new run of content now that should be coming out approximately one video a week, but it might be a little sporadic to start with while I get used to balancing gigs and uh, and videos, but it's coming. If you wanna see stuff that I'm doing when I'm away from YouTube, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, the little tagger will be down here and follow the link and follow me on there. And there's more in between video stuff like gigs and stuff like that. So follow that if you're interested. So although part of the reason for this video is just to say that I'm still here and hopefully gonna be making new content, um, I did wanna share a very cool story and that is that recently I got to play my very first arena show played at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham and it's definitely the biggest, well it's definitely the biggest indoor venue I've ever played and to walk into that environment and out onto that stage was something pretty mega, especially after all of the COVID stuff and basically 18 months with very few gigs. Uh, something like that was just awesome to come back to. Um, I did it as part of a backing band for an ABBA show uh, that I'm involved with. And it was just the the, the players and everything on the gig are great. Um, the team behind the show is great. And it was just a, f a fabulous experience and hopefully not the last arena uh, gig that I get to do, but even if it is, uh, it was fantastic to do it. So, um, I took some video and pictures of the rig. There'll be a little video of some playing at the end. Um, and I wanna do a bit of a rig rundown. I wanted to do it on the stage, um, but with sound check and everything going on, I couldn't do a voiceover. So I've got some video and pictures and I'll talk you through how the rig's looking right now. So on the floor in front of me, I've got a Pedal Train 2 at the moment. And on it, we've got the Kemper remote, which obviously handles all the control of the Kemper. Uh, then we've got um, a Digitech Freakout, which really helps with feedback on quieter stages. Uh, fortunately for this gig, uh, it didn't have to be a quiet stage, so I didn't really use it. Next to that, we've got a full tone Clyde Deluxe Wah. And I do often get asked, why do I use an external Wah pedal uh, when the Kemper does a great one? And I agree, the Kemper does do a good one, but having one externally means that it's global on all presets. I can turn it on whenever, it doesn't take up a block. And I just really like that wah pedal. It's uh, certainly my favorite. I've tried a few others, but that is the one. Um, then towards the top, we have a Digitech drop pedal. And again, this is one of those, why don't you use the transpose in the Kemper? For me, I have compared the transpose to the, to the drop. Uh, I even did a video on it. And to me, I just prefer something about the drop. It's the feel of it. And actually the tracking, I would say, is arguably better. Uh, your mileage may vary, of course. Um, up in the top corner of that pedal board, I have a small uh, Keeley True Bypass loop, and I just use that as an AB between my wireless, which is the Line 6 G30, and a cable. So if I have any wireless problems on a gig, which I absolutely did that night, um, the Line 6 G30 is great, but the Wi-Fi uh, situation at the moment, I think it's just where venues are getting upgraded Wi-Fi and everyone's phones and stuff. The Line 6 runs on 2.4 gigahertz, so there's loads of interference in big venues. So I will be looking to change that out soon. So if you have any suggestions for good wireless, ideally pedalboard based, but I'm not too fussy and not super pricey, please let me know in the comments below. So that box just lets me switch between a cable and my wireless. Um, and then uh, I've got a small power supply, which I can't remember the name of right now, but it's, um, it's the one I've been using forever and it's, it's pretty good. It's cheap, but it does the job. Um, so over to my amp sort of station. 
Um, I was using for this gig a 212 Victory cab, which has currently got a cream back in the bottom and a warehouse guitar speakers ET65 at the top. And then moving upwards to my rack, obviously the Kemper is my all my amp tones and effects. Uh, below it, I've got a Digitech GSP 1101, and I use that as just a backup unit. If anything was to happen to the Kemper, I can jack straight into that and get through a gig. I've got access to the tuner on there, and I've got a patch dialed up that's kind of a crunchy amp, and I can just roll it off cleans if I really had to get through a gig. Underneath that is just a 2U rack drawer that I keep things like in-ears and uh, some spare strings and stuff in if I need to access it quickly at a gig. Um, my guitars for this gig was my Sir Cl Classic Pro S, which you've seen loads on this channel. It's actually been through some changes uh, even since this picture was taken. So I'm gonna do an update video on the Sir soon, so make sure you subscribe if you're not already and you're interested in that kind of thing. And then my backup guitar for that evening was my Gretsch G5655TG, which again you've seen in a video, uh, which is a great guitar, and I was very close to using it as my main guitar that night but I just, I'd done a few gigs that weekend on the Sur and just felt a little bit more comfortable. So the Sur was my main guitar that night. So that about sums it up for this video. I'm gonna leave you with a clip of uh, a little solo moment from that show. And as you can see, the crowd was absolutely buzzed and it was, it was just great. Like I said, after all the COVID stuff, it's great to be back on stage. Uh, if you're not already for any reason, please look at subscribing. There will be more content coming. It may be a little sporadic over the coming weeks. Uh, but I'm hoping to normalize some kind of YouTube life balance uh, to keep making content. Um, whatever you're doing with the rest of the day, I hope it's great, and I'll leave you with this uh, this little clip. Cheers, guys. Yeah.